Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another winter tutorial, this time for white fairy tale earrings. I'm showing them step by step and I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them even if you are a beginner. Consider subscribing with the bell if you still haven't, also liking, sharing and commenting in this way you give me signals that you like my work and you want me to continue with it. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads, white and silver. I'm also using 8 o beads in silver color and I'm using 6 o beads that are 12, 6 per earring. And here I'm using earring findings and jump rings. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and in my first step I'm picking up six of those beautiful 6 o beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat. And here guys, what I want to do is to make a knot. And I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. In this way I'm making surgeon's knot or also called half hitch knot. And then I make one more knot. And this is what I have now. In my next step, I want to go through some beads in this direction. And I take one C bead and I'm going in the next bead. Then I take one more, go in the following 6 0, one silver 11 0 go in the following 6-0 and continue this until the end. Okay guys, and now as I'm exiting from this silver bead, I'm going to take three more silvers and I'm going back in circle to this silver one, just like this. Then I go through the next eight toe and through the following silver. And I'm going to repeat the same thing. Take three silvers and go back through this silver and in order to save time, you could also go through the next 6 o and through the next silver 11 o because in this way you save one movement. I'm taking 3 again, going back through this silver, through the following 6 o and through the next 11 o Okay, and now I take three silvers, I go back through the silver and through the following two beads. Three again. And go the same way. And here I'm adding the last three beads. Then I have this. I want to exit through one of those beads that are sticking out the most. Okay, my friends, and now uh, I want to continue adding beads between those silver beads that stick out, but I want to work in the other direction. That is why I'm turning my work like this. And now I think it's time to cut this tail thread. 
always turn your work the way it's easier for you because I'm right-handed it's easier for me to go like this and what I want to take here are five of those beautiful white 11 0 seed beads okay I have my five and I take five beads again five again and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and now guys I'm adding my last five beads from this row and what I want to do next is go through the following three beads exit out of the middle C bead and I'm going to take here three white beads, one HO bead and three white 11 0 seed beads and what I do next is that I go through the middle of those five beads that I added or counting from here it is the third one okay now I have this okay then I take the same sequence three one three and I go again in the middle one how I find the middle one there are two beads before it and two beads after it so it is the middle one or as I said three beads away from this silver one one two three okay then I take the same sequence and I go in the middle here in my next sequence of five okay then add these three more times and meet me okay guys and I'm adding here my last sequence of three white one silver and three white and what I want to do next is go through these three whites and exit out of the next silver okay my friends and what I'm taking next are 11 seed beads okay there are 11 seed beads as I'm exiting from this silver I'm going in the next silver then I take 11 seed beads again go in the next silver ato okay guys and this is what I'm gonna be doing until the end take 11 and go in the next silver and I'm sure you go, you're gonna be able to make it by yourself and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding 11 white beads and I'm going in the next silver seed bead will bit okay guys and as I'm here I want to finish this with a silver edge and how I do this I go here through two white beads and I take one silver bead and I'm going back through this white and then through the following two so I'm going backwards through this white and through two more so through three beads in total now what I have is a bead attached with a loop to the second white bead counting from here and now where I'm exiting I'm exiting through the fourth one two three four I'm exiting through the fourth white bead counting from here and I take just one silver bead and again I go through this white and through the following two whites Okay. and I have here a loop between my fourth white bead and silver 11 0 here I'm exiting out of the middle white bead that I have here I have one two three four five this is the sixth one and before it I have five beads and after it I also have five beads so this is the middle one of my 11 
and I take two beads here, go back through this one and then through the next two, so through three beads in total. Here at the center I'm adding two beads. That now I'm exiting out of the eight bead counting from here. So second, fourth, sixth, and now I'm exiting out of the eight bead. And I go through it and through the following two beads. I pull gently and I have the same thing, a loop between my eight bead and this one here. Then I take one silver bead. I go back through these two white beads. I'm next to the silver one and I take one silver. And I go in the following two white beads. Okay, now again I'm exiting out of the second white bead from this 11th. And I'm going to repeat the same thing. Take one, go back in circle through this one and through the following two. In this way I position myself after the fourth bead. I take just one, go back through it and through the following two. In this way I position myself exiting out of the sixth beat and this is the central one so here I add two beats instead of one. Then going backwards and through three beats in total. I have a loop here again. And after that I take one silver beat and I go back through it and through the following two. like that. Now I'm exiting out of the 10th beat counting from here. And I go like this through it and through the following white. And I'm exiting next to this silver. And I take a silver one. And then I go through the following two whites that are on my way. I'm not going through the silver ato, but through the white beads after that. And then I will continue these guys. Here at the second and the fourth I add one, at the sixth I add two, at the eight bead I add one, at the tenth bead I add one, and here at the inner I angle I also add one. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind this video from here and repeat it everywhere. And when I'm up to here, at the last step, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step, where I'm adding my last silver bead from this row at the inner angle. And I'm going through the two beads after that. Okay. Then I'm exiting out of the second white here. And what I want to do is to go through the silver one. And in this way, I'm zigzagging and changing direction. But don't worry, it is a wanted effect. Okay, and I take one silver. And I go in the next silver. And then, guys, I realized that it would be easier for me if I flip my work because I'm right-handed. If it's easier for you in the other direction, do it in the other Okay, and I take one silver, go in the next silver. And this row, guys, is really simple and really easy because I'm going to be adding silver beads everywhere. I'm adding one silver bead everywhere. And I'm filling in the gaps between my beads. And as I said, this is a really pleasant and a really easy row. 
So I'm sure if you're up to here, you will be able to do this row by yourself. Just fill in the gaps with, with one silver bead everywhere. When I'm ready, I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I need to add my last silver bead from this row. And now what I want to do is to add my earring finding and how I do this, I'm here just before the angle guys and I need to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I want to exit after the 8 bead counting from here. And now I'm just after these two silver beads that I added attached to the middle white bead, if you remember. And now, guys, I'm going to take one silver 11 0, one silver 8 0, and one silver 11 0, and I'm going back in circle through two beads this time, through the two middle beads here that I have. And I'm pulling. Then what I want to do, you could reinforce this step if you want, by the way. Uh, now, after that, what I want to do is go here at the angle, make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, I make here a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull. Then I go through some beads in this direction and cut my thread. And then I'm going to take my jump ring, guys. Open this one up with my pliers. Okay. And as I opened this one up, I'm going to put it here inside this bead. Then I'm going to take my earring finding, put it like this, and I'm going to squeeze back this jump ring. Okay. And now, guys, I have this. Okay, guys, and now my white fairy tales earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. Also, please like, share and comment in this way. You give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it. Check description for a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And a lot of work goes in this video, so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the Christmas playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching.